Hey friends, welcome back to Mama Tried. Today I have a whole Valentine's Day themed toddler meal ideas video for you. I've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so let's go ahead and get started. For breakfast, I'm making some bunny pancakes. These are so cute. So you can use any kind of pancake mix that you prefer, but I'm just using some Hungry Jack that I had left over in the pantry. So I'm doing a double batch. After I preheated my griddle to 375 degrees, I'm just adding some cooking oil. I used olive oil and then I'm just making some, I guess, medium sized pancakes on the griddle. So this is going to work as the bunny's head and body. Now I'm just going to make some really small pancakes and these are going to be the hands and feet. Now I'm going to start making some almost ovals for the ears. Now I'm just making some more bunny ears, but I'm adding almost like a little tail on it. So it looks like the ear is cocked to the side a little bit. After assembling the bunny, I'm just going to put a little strawberry on its belly. It kind of looks like it's holding a little heart. And then I'm going to be using blueberries for the eyes and for the whiskers and the nose and the mouth. I'm going to be using some black decorative icing. For lunch, I'm just making some DIY heart pizzas. So I found these Mama Mary's pizza crusts at Walmart. So I'm just going to be using that for the pizza crust and I'm going to be cutting it out with my favorite heart cutter from Amazon. It comes in a huge pack. I'll link them in the video description if you're interested. So I'm just going to cut those out. And since there wasn't enough room to make two out of one crust, I'm just going to make some mini ones also. Now I'm just going to be cutting some little bears out of these pepperonis. I'm going to tell you that I love you. I'm ready, Mama. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to my spoon and get your and then put it on this? Uh huh. I'm going to tell you that I missed you. Might need a little I'll bit miss more you if you go.
All right, for dinner, I'm going to be making some air fryer steak bites, some cheesy scalloped potatoes, and brown sugar glazed carrots. Everything that I'm doing for dinner actually came from Pinterest, so I will link the Pinterest links in the video description if you want to look at the original recipe. I do change a little bit here and there, so just keep that in mind. It's probably not exact to how they did it, but I'm just making a marinade for the steak, and I actually put this in the fridge and let it marinate for about an hour and a half before I started cooking it. So as you can see for the marinade, I'm using avocado oil, liquid aminos, or you could use soy sauce, garlic powder, black peppercorn, paprika, and sea salt. Now I'm going to cut the steak into small cubes. So I would try and make sure that all of your cubes are about the same size so that way they cook about the same. Now I'm just going to try and stir everything really well so that way each piece is coated in the marinade and then I'm going to put it in the fridge and continue on with my cooking. Moving on to the scalloped potatoes, I am first peeling two pounds of potatoes. You don't have to peel them if the skin doesn't bother you. You could just scrub them really well and put them in the pot, but we don't like the skin at all, so I'm just removing all of the skin. Now I'm just going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to get a large pot of water and put it over high heat until it's boiling and I can add in the potatoes. Since these potatoes don't have any skin on them, I'm just going to let them boil for about 15 minutes. While I'm waiting on those to boil, I'm just going to get started on the cheese sauce. So I'm using 1 4th cup of butter and melting it in a saucepan. Once the butter is melted, I'm going to add in 1 4th cup of all-purpose flour and I'm going to whisk that continuously until the flour turns a brown color. So After about two minutes, I'm going to add in two cups of milk. I'm just going to stir that until the sauce gets a little thick. And then once it is thick, I'm going to remove it from heat and add in two cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. After I've added in the cheese, I'm just going to add some salt and pepper on top and mix it all together until it becomes a cheese sauce.
Now I'm just going to take a 13 by 9 pan and spray it with some nonstick spray. I'm just using olive oil. Now it's time to take the potatoes out. You just want to make sure you can at least pierce them with a fork that they're that soft, but you don't want them to be too soft because then they'll kind of crumble while you're cutting them. You want to get these slices as thin as you can and as equal as you can. Now I'm just going to start layering them in the pan. So I'm going to make the first layer and then I will add some cheese sauce on top of that. And then I'm going to make another layer and add more cheese sauce on top of that. You can do as many layers as you want, but just remember that it will take longer to cook the more layers that you make. So I just decided to make two layers. Once I put on the final layer of cheese sauce, I'm just going to sprinkle some paprika on top to give it some color. And then I'm going to add on some more shredded cheese on the top just to make it extra cheesy. I'm going to bake this at 350 for 30 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started on the carrots. So I'm just adding two tablespoons of butter into a large pan. Once the butter is melted, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of light brown sugar. And I'm also um, putting this over medium high heat. I'm also adding in one tablespoon of honey. And about one teaspoon of allspice. Now I'm going to mix everything together really well and then I'll add in half a cup of water. I'm going to stir everything together again and then let that come to a boil and then I will add in one pound of carrots. I'm going to mix in the carrots to make sure that they are all coated and I am going to let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes so that way the carrots get nice and tender. Now it's time to go ahead and get started on the steak bites so I'm going to preheat my air fryer at 400 degrees for 4 minutes. Now I'm going to let them cook for about 12 minutes, moving them around halfway through. The Pinterest recipe did not say to cover the pot while cooking the carrots, but I did it and I think that it helped them become more tender. I like soft, squishy carrots. I don't know about you guys, but that's what we like. Now I'm at the halfway mark for the steak bites, so I'm just going to move them all around so that that way they can cook evenly and cook again for another six minutes.
All right, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really helps support my channel. And of course, make sure that you're subscribed with the bell notifications on. But that was everything, so I hope you have a great day. Bye. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday.